with just days before the midterm elections. All aboard! <laughs> On the, on the train to victory, let's go. Vermont Democrats joining Peter Welch, who's running for the state's open Senate seat for his final stops on the campaign trail, which this weekend is taking candidates along the rails as they send an important message. Our goal is to remind people about how important it is to get out and vote and make their statement about the future of our democracy and our state. Welch is using the train ride with stops in Burlington, Middlebury and Rutland as an opportunity to talk about what he is advocating for. I think affordability and inflation are two major issues that are affecting everybody in Vermont uh, and all around the country. So we've got to tackle those and we've got to protect our democracy. Other candidates were invited along for the ride to let voters who are still on the fence know what their top priorities are if elected. Right now, Vermonters are struggling across the state, whether they are low income, whether you are upper middle income and everyone in between. And what we need to do is come together to build stronger and safer communities for all of us. David Zuckerman, Democratic candidate for lieutenant governor, noting that the 70 degree weather temperatures are a reminder that climate change is something on his agenda. These temperatures are indicative of the challenges we're going to face over the next 30 to 50 years for our kids and grandkids. And if we don't take steps today to mitigate the depth of this change, we're not going to have maple trees in Vermont. We're not going to have a ski season in Vermont. Who knows what our food systems are going to be like. Democratic congressional candidate Becca Ballant is letting voters know the mental health crisis is the first thing she would address if elected. I'm going to be trying to build a coalition as soon as I get into Congress of like-minded folks. It cuts across party lines. It costs, cuts across geographic lines. We're having a mental health crisis um, from the pandemic and from the, um, you know, the economic struggles that working families are having. And so I'm going to be bringing that front and center. And the final push on the campaign trail trail for the GOP will continue on Monday as Republican candidate for governor Phil Scott and Republican candidate for lieutenant governor Joe Benning will barnstorm the state of Vermont visiting all 14 counties in one single day. In Burlington, Kristen Ray, NBC5 News. And the Democrats weren't the only ones out campaigning today. Republican Gerald Malloy, who's running for Vermont's open U.S. Senate seat, holding a honkin' wave event in Burlington this afternoon, trying to connect with voters in the days leading up to the midterm election. Malloy says if elected, he'll represent all Vermonters in Washington, not just those who support the GOP party platform. Vermonters see uh, they're concerned with inflation and crime and drugs. I can tell you kind of a sad drug-related story, just walking around, I found some needles right, in, right, right next to the City Hall Park there, right next to it. Um, so, you know, I want to I wanna take some action to get, get, get that much better. Malloy is also planning on campaigning in all 14 counties tomorrow, putting in the legwork to talk to Vermonters before they vote on Tuesday.